Um, cooperation between Israel and Europe today uh, takes place in, different, in several channels. First, by uh, FP7, uh, Israel is a fully associated member in FP since uh, FP5 since 1996, and in FP7 we also joined uh, the space team. Um, Israel also signed, uh, just a year ago, beginning of 2011, signed a frame agreement uh, between the Israeli Space Agency and the European Space <laughs> Agency. And uh, it has today uh, two bilateral cooperation with European countries, one with France, with CNES, and the other with the Italian Space Agency. Um, so a few words about cooperation with France. Cooperation with France is in the uh, Venus uh, mission. Venus stands for vegetation and environmental new microsatellites. It's a demonstration mission for scientific and technological uses and uh, with two uh, uh, technological purposes. One, to demonstrate the, the use of uh, multispectral imaging for environmental monitoring of uh, vegetation, agriculture, and uh, coastal water quality. Uh, and the second purpose is demonstration of use of electric propulsion technology and to test new ion clusters. Uh, so this is an example, an image uh, of use of uh, multispectral uh, imaging uh, to monitor um, uh, water, coastal water quality. Here you see a picture of the different uh, pollution level across the coastline of uh, Israel and uh, Egypt. Uh, the second bilateral cooperation, which I mentioned, is with Italy. It's uh, called Shalom. Uh, this is an agreement that was signed in 2010. It's still in initial uh, study phases, but here the goal is to uh, develop a space-borne hyperspectral uh, satellite system. Uh, Israel in FP7, so Israel is a participant in some uh, winning uh, projects in FP7. Uh, first, the uh, My Ocean, and now the continuation, the new project My Ocean 2 which is a product of operation for GMS ocean monitoring. Um, the Israeli Oceanographic Research Institute is a member of this uh, consortium. And we, have, we are also uh, pa uh, partners in three new uh, projects from the latest call from 2011. One is the SIPOS, uh, which is a design guideline for a, a composite launcher structures in order to reduce weight. It was uh, uh, mentioned this morning. Uh, where the Israeli participants, it's coordinated by DLR, and the Israeli participants are the Technion, the Israeli uh, Technical Institute, and the uh, Griffiths. Um, and two other projects, one is uh, VHI SSI, uh, uh, with the goal of developing very high speed serial interfaces. This is part of the critical technologies list, the one uh, that was published in 2011. Uh, coordinated by UK with two SMEs, uh, Israeli participants, uh, Ramon Chips and AC. And the last one is SkyFlash, uh, development of wild-powered uh, flash memories for space applications uh, with uh, tower semiconductors. Um, okay, so what about the future? Um, uh, Israel also has made a, a, another strategic decision in recent years, which is to uh, become more engaged in uh, uh, civilian applications, in uh, making use of uh, the capabilities originally developed mainly for defense purposes, to use them now for commercial and scientific purposes, uh, and to leverage uh, international uh, collaborations. And we've seen some examples in the previous pages and the previous slides, but we believe there is potential to do much more. Uh, Israel is famous for its uh, innovation and entrepreneurship spirit, uh, which uh, can be, which is evidenced in many startups that exist today, in, in high tech, in uh, medicine, in biotechnology, and we want to do the same for space. Uh, and Israel also has a world-class uh, space science in many fields, related fields, astronomy, astrophysics, earth science, and also material science and nanotechnology. So all in all, there is really a great potential for a collaboration in the new and development of new technologies and science. Uh, this is just uh, some, it's not a, a full list, but some of the major players in, uh, in space, active in space today, in industry and academy. 
a few of them are uh, present here at, at the conference, so if you would like, please come to our booth. We have a booth at the exhibition area, and we can connect you with those uh, players. And this is a list of just uh, some of the possible areas for uh, future cooperation. This is not, a, again, a complete list, uh, but some areas of interest, and uh, quite few of them are also relevant for the uh, uh, coming uh, call, next to seven calls as we know it now. Uh, so the areas are uh, development, uh, new development in micro satellite system and component, new bus, new technologies, new payload, uh, new generation of hyperspectral system payload, uh, electric propulsion and green propulsion technologies, uh, composite lightweight structures, uh, for example, for deployable uh, equipment. Uh, different topics in uh, satellite communication, broadband satcom, on the move satcom, integration of satellite communication with uh, GMES services, uh, technologies for cleaning space debris, um, all image processing and interpretation uh, capabilities such as change detection and feature extractions, and any applications for GMES remote sensing, particularly environmental, climate change, and uh, disaster. Um, Sorry, sis. Thank you.